this is Grinstar. Today I am messing around with trying to get some difference in modulations and or tempo changes using clips uh, over here. Uh, this master track over here has the ability to add clips in it. Uh, you can use automations and you can use different types of things in, into these clips that should be able to affect the rest of the song. Uh, so today we're going to kind of focus in on that and, and see what we can do. Uh, see what kind of the limitations are and kind of what I want to do is, is create some crazy stuff. Um, changes in tempos, changes in, in other things and, and realistically try to get some automation going. So um, ultimately you could do a lot in this master track right here if you didn't know. Um, you can sit here and create a clip and this clip will uh, affect the rest of the track. So if I want, let's say, four bars of a certain tempo, I can I can add automations in here. Um, I could do uh, like transport. I could do tempo, right? And so if I click on here and I, I adjust the tempo, go up, go down severely, go back up, and it's it should be tied to this track. So if we duplicate it. The tempo, you see the tempo duplicates, but what happens if we move it over to here? Oh, look, the automation moves over. So that's pretty cool, actually. Um, and see that the tempo goes away, but the tempo is here. So when we play this, you can see the tempo changing. It is qu changing quite dramatically. So why why would that matter? So let's let's create another clip. Uh, no change in the tempo. Let's drag that tempo, that thing over here. So now the tempo goes normal for four bars. Um, this one's kind of crazy, so let's 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 knock it down. Um, so let's 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 get to somewhat normalcy here, so that we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna speed it up. We're gonna slow it down, and then we're gonna go crazy at the end. Okay, so about these clips. These clips are awesome. These clips are cool. These clips comes with a load of things. Right now it's in looping mode. You have to take that off to do anything with these suckers. Um, and then what you could do is, is I think this changes the point in, in the in the um, and and since 5.0, so so I'm not as familiar with these. I haven't played around with it, but you can specify. Um, how many bars until I think this is it gets launched? Uh, so start clip immediately. We can say play mode, trigger from the start, legato. That's kind of cool. On release, continue, stop, next action. Um, and then you got quantize the loop. So what I am looking for is how to... Oh, here, next action right there, right there. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're going to either play next, which would play this clip. We could play previous, which would be the pre pre previous. Play random. So that means you have a chance of playing this clip again or playing the next clip. Um, so I'm going to put that because I want I want some crazy stuff going on. All right, now as soon as it goes into this clip, it's playing the same thing over and over because we have to take off the looping again. And what I want is to play the previous. So basically, it's going to always go to the next one. So this one's going to play random. This one's going to be playing next. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So now we're going to take this a step further. Um, we're going to remove this clip. We're going to we're going to create yet another clip, but we're going to we're not going to mess with tempo. Tempo tempo has been done. Um, we're going to see if we can do something along with the dogs are barking. All right. Sorry about that. Um, dogs uh, have no cool. Um, they want to bark at everybody. So what I want to do is I want to I want to create a macro here. And I'm going to call it volume macro. And what I want to do is I want to tie it to the volume of this guy. So I want to grab here and then I, I want to play around with this thing. So I want it to go down and up uh, uh, quite a bit, depending on how, how much of my, my thing is. So.
nice macro. So now, okay, so now I should be able to go back over to here, go down here, hit this one, and... Hit volume. And I should be able to do this again. Go up here. Yeah, okay, so it, it's being done there. So it's it's under track controls. Turn it down. Oh, actually, let's go the, the the opposite way. Two ten percent. Go up a little bit more. Uh, that's turning it up. Stop. So I think this should this should go up. This should turn uh, turn down the volume rather than turning it up. Okay, so we want to play previous. So now this one's going to need to play this one or this one, and then it's going to right back to the beginning. So if we if we start off with this. I kind of want it want it to end with a little bit of loudness so that it goes it goes ramps up really really high and then and then quiets it down but only on that time period. Actually, let me force this one to play so that there we go. Pretty cool. I think you're getting it. You should be able to, to get into what I'm trying to get down here is uh, basically you can sit here and mess around with a lot of the uh, the uh, clips right here and change different aspects of these things right here with the automation, uh, with the volume, with the, the um, pitch shifting, if you want, the modulation, uh, and just and just use these as simple, quick hits to, to help with uh, messing around with your track uh, in different ways that's probably uh, unintended from what you wanted. So um, I want to add one more thing. Um, kind of want to add this. But no, I... I Yeah, let's see if the master volume. Uh. All right, I want to mess with the grain mix. If I can spell. So let's let's do the same thing. Let's uh, see if we can duplicate things here. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to go on here. When it says track views controls, there's the grain that we just added. So now we can do the same thing. We can go in here. We can mess with it. Go bring it up a bit. Bring it down. Bring it over. And then shut it back off when we're done. So now when this plays... Thank you. 
well, you get the, it, it's a, it's really cool. Um, you could sit down there and have, while this is playing over here, have the, the master get, get controlled or the master track get controlled by the other automations and the other clips, uh, that can allow you to do things on there, uh, without being tied to having the, the stuff here. And so when you want to actually do things, you can actually move over the tracks and actually, uh, get it to work. So you can move over the clips and boom, your clips there. Um, overall pretty cool type thing. So you could just move it in and all of a sudden you got your, your clips working on how you want. Uh, and then you could finish out the song without, with just playing this side rather than the other, uh, you know, other sides. So kind of a, like an idea type of thing that you go start off with your your little pattern ideas first and then go into a full arrangement with your clip automations. Um, I think you can mix and match. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. And I'm... Yeah, I'm wrong. I think you're going to have one, one possible uh, automation this style uh, per... I could be wrong. Uh, then again, you could, you can, I, I explained this in, pro, in the past videos, you can copy and paste your automations uh, to other automation things. Um, so you can get the volume to uh, automation tab to affect the, um, the grain or at least copy the grain over from one track to the other or one clip, sorry, one clip to the other uh, and be able to do both at the same time. Um, so you don't have to have just one automation going. You, in fact, you can have several, uh, right now I'm just messing with one, but, but in addition to, you can also mess with grain on here, um, as, as well as, um, the volume. So realistically we can have the volume, we can have the grain, we can have tempo, And voila, you got you got uh, one one of the clips with three different automations in here, uh, without issues. Um, and then you could mix and match these and, and, and be able to play with them also. So uh, really not limited uh, in this way. Bitwig is pretty cool uh, with this to be able to kind of kind of clip out and do it. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with Ableton or or any anything else other than uh, Reason and Reaper. Uh, and I know those two kind of are really, really powerful. Um, but when it, uh, I don't, they don't do clips. So basically you don't get this like scratch pad idea thing. So, um, it, this is kind of cool. I think Ableton would be the only one that, that does this kind of thing. And, um, the free loops might, might get it close to it or, uh, um, I think, uh, studio one, it has a scratch pad type of thing that you could do this with, but overall, I, I think I think uh, this clip stuff is is pretty cool if if you get into it. Um, either all, uh, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you very much for watching, uh, and thank you for listening. And I will catch you later.